gecko, if you ever do at all, and humorous insurance commercials are likely to pop into your mind. But long before the gecko became a financial TV star, the animals were best known for their amazingly sticky feet. Now a startup right here in our region is applying gecko-based technology to new forms of adhesives that have the potential to revolutionize everything from medical wrapping tape to nose pads to keep eyewear in place, uh, no matter how much an athlete perspires. Nick Kuhn is uh, CEO of Nano Grip Tech. Dr. Paul Glass is Vice President of Engineering and in there from the company's beginning at Carnegie Mellon University. Welcome. Good to have you both here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, the company's been around for how long now? The company's been around since 2009, believe it or not, quite a while, but uh, we, were, we just recently had a, a major financing and uh, getting a lot of traction now. Okay, and uh, basic idea behind NanoGrip Tech, I know you're a serial entrepreneur, so you've been attracted to this fairly recently. What do you yeah. like about this, this idea? Well, it's really a, an amazing platform technology that can be used in a wide range of applications for um, uh, industrial applications, consumer applications, um, medical applications, all based on how uh, gecko's feet work, essentially using fibers uh, to adhere uh, in a dry fashion. So uh, it's like a mechanical seal versus a chemical seal. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the technology and how where, where it originated originally at, at Carnegie Mellon. Yeah, so this is work that uh, I did during my graduate work at Carnegie Mellon along with our founder and my colleagues. And so the idea is to find a way to synthesize and make a, a, a physical version of what geckos grow naturally on their feet. So we figured out ways to engineer those in the lab and then we transitioned that uh, to kind of a mass commercial setting at Nanogrip. So what's on a gecko's feet? What, what's the deal? Because it's not like there's glue, you know, sticky glue or whatever, right? Ex exactly. So their, their feet um, have similar material to what our fingernails are made of, but they have these amazing nano hairs that are on their feet. So when a gecko touches the surface, all of those little hairs make contact with the underlying surface, which result in really weak adhesion forces on every hair, but you get millions and millions of hairs in contact, then it can be really strong. So our product is an engineered version of that. So these are made out of plastic, they're completely dry little hairs, same shape as what a gecko. So you touch it, it's not sticky like Not at all right? sticky to no? the touch, but when you yeah. peel it. Okay, right, it's just soft, feels like one side feels like the other. Peel right? it back and, and you can get a significant adhesion bond, which is controllable, it's residue free, it's repeatable, and so on. So think, uh, think your tape, but you can use it thousands of times. Okay, so a little like like Velcro, but only on the, you don't need both sides, right? It'll stick, but it's dry. It's not like tape or glue or anything. Right, and we actually have a product that works the same as Velcro. Okay. So, it's, but it's a lot. Uh, smoother, lower profile than Velcro. So a lot more uh, flexible. You've been out for a while. Where are you finding a market? Are you beginning to, to move some? So right now we're getting a lot of traction in the semiconductor space, um, both picking up microchips as well as moving semiconductor wafers. So we've also gotten a lot of traction with our um, our fastener in automotive seat manufacturing. So attaching leather to foam, for example, is another big application. So semiconductors, I've seen where they have like little vacuum devices that pick up the chips and move them around. This would be a substitute or is becoming a Well, substitute? the idea is that we can actually pick up chips at a smaller size. That essentially, vacuum technology is now getting to the point where it can't uh, it can't get any smaller. Because the chips our, keep getting smaller. Right, exactly. Okay. Right. So we can go even smaller than that. Oh, that's fascinating. Uh, other applications you see out there that are maybe still in the lab, but some of the potential for this kind of material? Yes. Yeah, so we've, I mean, we have uh, some defense work and as well as medical uh, device work as well. So um, we've looked uh, in the past at uh, materials and interfaces to help uh, get better grip between a prosthetic device and an amputee's limb, for example, something that's more comfortable uh, over the lifetime of the product, or uh, fasteners for surgical gowns, that's a more hermetic version of a, a hook and loop or zipper fastener. So for example, orthopedic surgeons, there can be a lot of uh, biomaterials in the environment. This is a safer uh, product for a surgeon. Oh, yeah, you don't want them getting caught on the on the tape or even in the roughness of, a, of another kind of fabric seal. You want to be able to have that totally go away when you're done. Exactly, and our product is much more resistant to permeation than hook and loop, so it keeps the, the wearer of the system safe as well, so which is why there's some military interest for chem bio protection, for example. Very cool. I assume this is how, what, what, part of 
why you're finding investor interest in this company and this technology. A lot of applications. It's a big market out there. Uh, yeah, I mean, we estimate about a $3 billion market. Um, and uh, yeah, the investment that we got uh, recently, we got about a $2 million investment from a, a Japanese or a, a Taiwanese venture firm. Um, so a um, lot of interest in, in Asia, Japan, Taiwan, South Korea. And you're doing all of this down in Lawrenceville, right? Right in the city. Yeah, we manufacture in Lawrenceville. Um, we just moved into a new facility, and uh, we're we're uh, building the business right here in Pittsburgh. That's excellent. I know people are going to want to know you're doing any hiring, but uh, we just hired a manufacturing technician, and right now we're we're building our sales organization. Okay. So all right, anybody interested in selling a hot new technology? Uh, the company's called Nano Grip Tech. Nick Coons, the CEO, Dr. Paul Glass. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, Thank luck. you very much. Next up, we're going up top to find out about a new technology that's rolling out in our region to connect renters and landlords. Please stay with us.